everyone in this video i want to show you one of my favorite ai tools that i have come across recently this is emergent.sh they are also today's sponsor and you may think oh it's another ai app builder but i really believe that they have some really interesting features for you make it much easier to build not just like simple hobby apps but more sophisticated advanced applications as well so if you want to build an app with authentication uh, with payments or you want to make api calls to let's say open ai for some llm inference all of that is possible here in emergent they have really honed in on making it easy to build advanced applications. So in this video, I wanna show you how you can get started with it and why you wanna get started with it. Some of the more advanced things we can do here. You've probably seen these AI app builders. I don't have to introduce them to you. They all have a, a prompt uh, box here, but we do see some interesting buttons here. But before we get there, let's actually try thinking about an app that we could build here so I can demo this to you. So. I have been thinking about a problem that I have personally experienced and that is branding. So if you are building a product before you can really release it, you need a lot of uh, branding things, I would say. So for example, I have a new startup it's Wunu and I need like a fav icon. I need a logo. I need a lot of like creative assets to uh, present my product well. And it is a little bit hard to go into Figma or do it all yourself. You could hire a designer, but they're quite pricey. So I want to build an app and the app should just give like a branding kit to the user and it can be generated with AI. So that's what I want to build. It's been something it's been something I wanted to build for a long time. So I'm going to try uh, get started here with Emergent. Well, let's see how far we can get here. So let's say I want to build an app that allows users to an AI should generate a branding kit for them this should include a logo uh, branding colors but also things like uh, textual style right how you basically uh, write this text this is very casual more formal we want to show a free preview and then if they want to download it right they should pay let's say ten dollars Right, so this is our business model. So now before I click here, what are some of these buttons? So I can add attachments here. So if you already have some mockups or something else, maybe that help. Maybe you want to add that here. I have already connected my uh, GitHub repository. This is actually what I really like about Emergent. It's super easy to set up GitHub. So then if you have the code of your app, it's very easy to uh, place that in your own GitHub account. So you have like a backup, but you also have your own control over the code. And then you also have this option for whether you want it to be fast or mobile apps. So they also have an option here for mobile apps. I know some of you are building mobile, but let's stick to a web app in this video. So I care mostly about quality. So I'm willing to wait a little bit longer. So I'm going to go with the default option here. They do have an ultra option here. So the it can be really good if you allow the agent to think a little bit more. So they have an option for that. It is a premium option here, but that's fine. And uh, maybe that's an option for you. So here we have the options here. And I will actually go with GPT-5 for this video. I've been playing around with it. I find it's really good actually. Although Claude's on at 4.5 is actually really good as well. It's really hard to pick the models these days because they're so good. Um, okay, so let's go with Cloud 4.5. Now, MCP servers can be really helpful, especially if you're doing something that's cutting edge. So one of the MCP servers that I like is uh, Context7 actually. Um, but maybe you have some other MCP server on your mind. Maybe you already have a super base account that's something we can add here as well they have templates here so if you're building a python app um, you may want to go with that template however i'm building a full stack web application here i just want to use standard uh, technologies that they have i'm okay with anything else you can even set your budget actually so it works with credit so i have uh, I've, I've already been playing around with it so um, I have a few credits left now. You can top it up, you can manage your subscription and you can set a budget here for this. All right, so the proof is in the pudding, right? So let's actually see what it can do. I'm gonna submit here and now it's gonna go ahead and uh, try to spin up an environment and build out our application here. Now, before it actually goes off and does all sorts of things, I find that it's really good at guiding you along in building the actual app. And this is especially important in the beginning. In the beginning, you're laying the fundamentals for an application. We do not want the agent to go crazy and do all sorts of things. In the beginning, we wanna guide the agent and really hone in on, on what we actually want. So here you can see it starts to ask me some questions, right? So it, it will only continue after I reply here. Okay, so it's gonna be a branding kit generator app. So first question, which provider do we wanna use? Right, so obviously that's a great question. So in this case, let's just use uh, OpenAI. So I will just say uh, for option two, OpenAI. So for question one, OpenAI. Um, 
for the website and now that's for the logo generation now for the actual brand info which llm uh, we will actually just use OpenAI as well it's, it, it's a bit easier to just stick to one provider now what's really nice is that we can use the emergent llm key so this makes it super convenient to add ai basically we're piggybacking on the emergent api key so we can just say yes this is all for part one actually so let me actually add that here properly okay second question payment integration which payment provider so we will just go with stripe user authentication uh, they actually have an emergent based uh, google social login so let's actually go with that so i will say 3b and what should be part of the branding kit this is these are questions all make total sense this is not some fluff this is actually important so logo variations we will just add primary an icon and a color palette as well just five colors let's say that's usually enough to get started font not necessary yes brand guidelines all right so now it knows more precisely what we actually want and let's give the answer all right so now i've given the agent some more color on what we actually want so now it knows more precisely what it needs to build so let's give it some time and see what it can do for us all right so now it's been working a little bit and it has identified some of the integrations that it needs to set up so it has identified openai gpt5 for text generation and another model for the image generation the stripe integration and the authentication integration they basically have some uh, default text here to help the agent set up those integrations it's continuing now it's installing dependencies it's setting up a back end so these are full stack applications not just a front end so it's not only for landing pages these are full stack apps all right so now you can see actually we see the first preview of course uh, this is it's still running so this is just the initial view here of course it will improve the styling but we can see it's working now you you can see it's reasoning here as well so you can see it first starts to plan the files that it needs to create so it will actually use python here on the server side so it will first plan it out so it's, it's talking about auth endpoints for the back end the actual generation of the branding kit endpoint the payment endpoint so basically planning everything and then it should actually implement the code for points in the plan so it's now starting to work on the front end all right so now you can see it has significantly improved the css here as well so we have a nice landing page here and we already see some authentication buttons so it's starting to come together here indeed free preview ten dollars to download this all looks great all right so now it looks like it's almost finished there so it's you can see it has started testing so when it has implemented a bunch of things at some point it will often also try to test it so there's a dedicated testing agent for that as they call it this should reduce the amount of bugs that it may contain all right so actually the testing was finished and if we take a look here um, the testing agent was basically a sub agent so when that is finished it gives back a result to the main agent which is still running as of as of right now and we can actually see the test agent uh well, progress here but it also gives a test report to the main agent so now the main agent can continue improving it before handing it off to us again basically so basically a really nice uh well you could say like a self-improvement loop between the sub agent and the main agent here let's see it has identified an issue with logo generation it attempts to fix it you can see it, it keeps improving things so you can see i have not touched anything here i've submitted the prompt and it's able to continuously iterate and make improvements all by itself all right so i was getting a coffee and i got a sound here from emergent telling me that it is finished here so you can see the so here it gives a summary here it has built this ai powered branding kit generator and it has some core features the landing page the authentication we'll try it out in a second stripe even and even a dashboard for the url input and the purchases technical stack so it's using react on the front end fast api with the mongodb database ai payment with stripe okay so all of that looks good so now let's actually try it out so we have a landing page here the landing page looks great let's say yes i do want to generate a brand identity let's get started all right so here i go into a login page so we can log into our app we are going to use gmail so i will quickly log in here all right, so I just logged in and I'm being redirected here to the dashboard. All right, so now I'm logged in into a dashboard. Looks great. Uh, let's actually say, well, I'm building a website. Let's say, well, uh, let's use my new startup, wunu.com. Let's actually generate a brand kit for that. Gonna end. Okay, so now we can see a Toast analyzing website. It may take one or two minutes, but I'm actually already happy that 
I can actually log into a dashboard and that it got it right on the first try. This is actually already something that I would say is intermediate level. Just getting the authentication right, having a public website and then a dashboard for logged in users. Getting that right initially is already important. All right, so here we do get an issue that's perfectly fine. So it failed to generate a logo, failed to generate okay so it has an issue with the actual image generation so i will actually just pass this back to the agent here so i will just pass it back and hopefully it can fix it i mean image generation is a bit tricky so uh, but i'm actually already happy that we got to this point um i'm pretty confident that we'll, it will be able to fix it let me actually refresh here but you can see that we are able to preview the app here in its own tab so it's not only inside this view here because it's also in its own tab you can see it's on the emergent agent uh, domain but that's fine we can change the domains later right so if we go to the home page i can actually just log out and i'm back in the home page this is already something that i'm happy with so um if i refresh here yeah so we have dashboard and landing page separation now we need to actually make the functionality here in the dashboard work um, but it's already hard at work at that all right so after a few minutes it is finished again so we can try it out again so it seems to have fixed a few issues here uh, let me actually just refresh here and try it out again so we're gonna generate another kit we'll just use wunu.com again we'll say generate and hopefully it's able to uh, make it work all right so it's going at it for longer than previously so there's probably something going on there all right and actually generated a brand kit for me here so let's actually see what it came up with so here we have wunu ai it was able to detect it's an ai powered developer tool it's a vs code extension all of that looks good it properly shows this information here that it's a free preview right so you can get a taste and then if you really want it you have to download it and then of course you have to buy it so brand description wunu offers an ai assisted app builder as a vs code extension all right so uh, all of that looks good the colors look great and actually logo looks kind of interesting so of course this has been generated with ai i find that the logo generation with ai it's a bit of hit hit or miss so for example here it came up with a v i think that's a bit strange because we don't have a v in the name but here it's actually a good one i like this one actually really nice and it has a set of guidelines here for the brand okay so it actually lists the kits here as well so if i generate more it will actually show them here so really really well done right so emergent almost one shot at this there was one little issue here with generating the logos but honestly what we get here in like two or three prompts is amazing this is really good right so now we have authentication we have landing page and dashboard separation we we have the ability to invoke llms right without me having to log into different dashboards to set up api keys or anything like that it was able to generate things here with ai without me having to do well any setup really so now the final thing that i want to try out here is that we can actually download this and uh well pay for it right so now i'm i'm a user here and i like this so now i want to download this so, well i have to pay all right so here we land on a stripe landing page if you've ever tried to implement stripe you know during develop you know that during development we have like a sandbox environment and you can just try it out with a fake uh card here so just four two four two four two i just filled out some random information here but let's actually try to pay here all right so payment succeeded and now we're being redirected okay so we're being redirected here on the home page uh let's actually try to sign in here and go back to our kit all right so unfortunately um it doesn't show me the kit from before but that's okay we'll just uh, add a prompt here it doesn't show me the from before after payment the kits are gone okay so i mean it got really far in just a few prompts so if there's a few kinks to iron out that's perfectly fine um so let's just see what it can do for for now now whilst doing that you can see it also has a fork option here so basically as we're talking here you can see this conversation becomes longer and longer and the way that these uh, ai models work they start to perform worse as there is more and more uh, context right so as the conversation gets longer it's more difficult for them to understand the complete picture so we can fork here and then emergent will sort of summarize the previous context here and it will start a new chat for us so we're basically clearing up a bit of context so that we make the context a bit tighter so we can sort of fork the chat all right so it just signaled to me that it was ready to go so i will actually just open a new tab again uh we will just regenerate that's fine i will just uh generate here one more time maybe see a new logo that we even like that we like even more all right so it came up with another brand looks great different logo uh looks interesting actually more abstract logo 
But what we actually want to try, of course, is if we can actually download it, right? So here, purchase to download full resolution, right? So let's actually go ahead. All right, so filled in some random information again. Let's pay. All right, so payment successful and we're being processed and payment is successful. Your branding kit is now ready to download. Go to dashboards. Okay, so now at least we fixed the payment issue. Now, of course, we need to make sure that the kit shows up again. So let's try that. All right, so just wrote a quick prompt to improve the kit loading. All right, so I just got the notification that it came up with. So it says, I see the issue. The kits are not persisting properly in MongoDB. So then it came up with some new suggestions here. So now it's up to us to try this again. So let me try this again. And actually by just refreshing, it was already able to load the kit that I purchased just before. All right, so actually I was able to download a file here. Now it, it tries to download the files separately. Um, maybe we could ask it to package it up in a zip file. So let's think, it's, thanks, it's working now. Can we make it a zip file when the user wants to download it? All right, so zip, a zip file seems to be like the default way that people download a bunch of files, basically bundling everything together into a zip file. Let's see if Emergence can do that as well. All right, so just came up with a fix. If I refresh here and now if I download the kit, I'm saving here and you can see it actually saved a zip file now and not just um, a markdown file, but if I now open this up. All right, so now if I open this up, I can see my complete bundle here, which I paid for. And if I open up the files individually, we can indeed see that we now have downloaded the files. So now we have a pretty sophisticated app in just a few prompts. It includes authentication, payments, landing page and dashboard separation, uh, downloading zip files, making API calls to OpenAI or other providers to generate images or text. I'm generally impressed. It's This was not difficult for me to create at all. Imagine just a year ago how much work it would have been to create something like this. Now with Emergent, it's so much easier. Yeah, great job by Emergent. It is generally performing well for me. And I can see my credits used here as well, by the way, all right? So um, the price that I paid to generate this is actually a really good price. All right, so now I can also save to GitHub. So let me show you that because maybe you do want to control your own code maybe because maybe you do want to have control over the code yourself. You want to maybe back it up in some other place. Uh, just create a repo here. We can say brand the fire and we will just push this to GitHub. Okay, so let's actually view that. All right, so now here you can see I have a private repo here with the code. So if you do want to have control, so if you do want to go into the code here, you can do that right here. You can actually inspect the server uh, Python code that it has generated here and that is all available as well. Okay, so let me close out of here. What if I want to show it to other people? I can actually uh, share it. I can actually also deploy it. So you can see, you will see your deployed apps here on the homepage. So what I can also say is say, uh, deploy the app, please. Right, so we can, of course, also just use a preview link here. So you can click on preview link and then you will get a URL that you can share with other people. But you can also just go for the complete uh, deployment. All right, so when I ask it to deploy, you can see it, it's using a reviewer agent. Maybe it can make some final improvements before we actually go to production. Let's see what it can do. All right, so your app brandifier has been checked by the deployment agent and it says it's ready for deployment. So we can actually just do it with a button here. So if you go out of the preview, you will get a deploy, bu a deploy button here. So after deployment, of course, we do need to verify that everything is still working properly before you know we start promoting it to everyone. But let's actually see what it can do. So we can start a deployment and that's going to make it publicly accessible, right? So you want to be a little bit safe with this. You want to make sure that the code, you want to make sure that the app is working properly, that things like authentication and payments are working properly. So before you do any kind of promotion, you want to do a lot of verification. But if you want to deploy, of course, we do need to leave the Stripe uh, sandbox. We need to make it a real production app. So in that case, you'd, at that point, you do need to go into the Stripe dashboard and get an API key, right? Which makes total sense. Okay, so that's a path that we could take, but I don't want to bore you with setting up API keys or things like that. But you can see I've already deployed one app here. Um, that was another app. I had another idea, uh, a platform actually. This is actually a live website. So you can see it's live. It's, you can run health checks and you can connect a custom domain as well. And for deployment, and we can also configure environment variables here. Okay, so all of that is possible here in Emergent. They actually have some great app examples here in the community as well. Of course, if you just quickly want a landing page or something else that's possible. But of course, if you do want to have more advanced features as well, Emergent is also a great place to start. I would say check out Emergent. You can find a link in the description. Hope that it helps you build your project faster. And thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.